Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I want to talk about 30 Super Carry. It hit the ground running in early 2022, just this year. It made a lot of attention. A lot of people were buzzing about 30 Super Carry. It's this new CCW route that's going to revolutionize the way we carry handguns. And I started thinking about it. it initially, I thought, well, I think most people are satisfied with the current offerings. 380, 9mm, 40, 45, 38 Special, 357, Magnum, like you name it. People are already satisfied with that. But now there's 30 Super Carry. And people say there are many, there are many advantages to 30 Super Carry. So let's take a look at that. And I want to give you my thoughts as to why I don't think 30 Super Carry is going to make it in the gun world. The first advantage is that it offers more rounds in the magazine and I think that's good. The 30 Super Carry has a little bit of a longer case but it's thinner and the bullet is just a little bit thinner so it does offer additional rounds in the magazine but my thought is that issue has already been addressed. If you recall back about eight to ten years ago Single stack nines were the rage. Everybody was going for a single stack nine. But then SIG and many other manufacturers came out with subcompact double stack mags. Started out with 10 rounds, then it went to 12, 14, 15, 17 rounds in a mag. So I think that area of additional mag capacity has already been addressed. Plus, many people that carry, they carry an additional mag. So most shooters or most CCW people are satisfied with their caliber offering chambering, whichever one they choose, and they're satisfied with the availability of mag capacities that are already out there. So in my mind, that one's kind of a wash. They say it has decreased recoil from a 9mm. Okay. 9mm is a pretty light load as it is. I never thought that 9mm needed a new chambering offering like 30 Super Carry to make it even less recoil. People that think that 9mm is heavy recoiling, they typically would move to a 380. But they say it has less recoil. I don't see it. Some of the people that shot them side by side, the feedback I've gotten is that it's rather similar. All right, I'm not trying to bash 30 Super Carry. It's just that when you say it has less recoil than 9mm, that's to suggest that 9mm is a heavy recoiling round, and it is just not. The ballistic performance is pretty similar. Some will argue that the 30 Super Carry has greater ballistic performance. It, it travels an additional 100 feet per second. Whatever happened to shot placement is what's most important. All right, that, and, and that, that has been verified so many times. Shot placement is more important than penetration. Penetration is important. That's why a lot of people say, hey, be careful with 380. But nonetheless, you know, similar ballistic performance. It's not overwhelmingly better than 9mm. Now some of the disadvantages, in my opinion, outweigh the advantages. If you look at the expense of it, 30 Super Carry at this point is pretty expensive. For a box of 50, you're looking at, we're talking target loads here, you're looking at between $25 and $32 for a box of 50. That is double the cost of a box of 9mm. And we've seen 9mm has dropped in price. You're looking at equivalent to a 45 ACP. Now, it's going to be pretty tough to convince somebody who is carrying 45 ACP that they should switch over to 30 Super Carry when the ammo is essentially the same cost. They say, well, you get more rounds in the magazine. And they would argue, well, I carry a spare magazine. So we're kind of leveling the playing field there. Another thing, and this is a big one, there are very few handguns chambered in 30 Super Carry at this point. We look at Smith, they have the, the Shield Plus and the Shield EZ, you know, the real light rack one with the grip, grip safety on there. 
those are chambered in 30 super carry. I don't think many people who own a Shield Plus in 9mm is going to say, well, now that there's 30 super carry, then I can pay more money for a box of 50 or a box of 20 self defense loads that I'm going to put my 9mm away and place for a 30 super carry. The advantage is not that much greater. Another manufacturer, Nighthawk Customs, is making a 1911 and 30 super carry. Every time I put out a 9mm 1911, someone's saying that was meant to be in 45 ACP. Now that's, that's what a 1911 is, 45 ACP. Now you're telling me I'm going to get one from Nighthawk Customs, by the way. Very expensive handgun, specifically for 30 Super Carry. It just doesn't make that much sense to me. So I don't think 30 Super Carry has lasting power in the gun world. I just don't. I don't think that there's a, a great desire for additional rounds when that area has already been addressed. I don't think that a, a lighter load, if it even is, than a 9mm is going to persuade people to move over to 30 Super Carry. And I don't think there are many guns, well, I know there aren't, that are chambered in it. Now, SHOT Show's coming up. A lot of these manufacturers are developing and going to be introducing new models. If there are a plethora of new guns and 30 Super Carry and people get so excited that they have to get this and they're willing to pay an additional amount for the, the boxes that carry 30 Super Carry, then more benefit to them. I just don't see it. I think if, if Glock comes out with a 26 and 30 Super Carry, all right, I may take notice. But outside of that, or many other offerings from different manufacturers, I just don't see it. I don't think that it has such a great advantage that it's going to persuade people away from 9, away from 40 and 380 and all those others into a 30 Super Carry CCW. And so I want to know your thoughts. What do you think? Is this just a phase going through that it's, it's the new kid on the block and everybody is all excited for something that doesn't excite you at all? Or do you think that, hey, this is something I really want. I can't wait to go pick up a Shield Plus so I can chamber it in 30 Super Carry and get a couple additional rounds. Therefore, I don't have to carry a spare magazine. None of it really adds up to me. Now, prove me wrong or say I'm right. We'll see what comes out in the future. And if the ammo drops a little bit and more guns come out, perhaps it'll have a future. But at this point, I just don't think it will. I don't think 30 Super Carry is going to make it in the gun world. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.